Hi, I'm Trevor Baldwin with ECA Canada, and today we're going to discuss starting up a Clem machine using the remote control. Demonstrating today, we're using a Clem 801, but this process is the same across the entire Clem line. After completing your daily inspections, you can find the battery disconnect switch, which you will be closing to power up all the components on the machine. The next step will be to go to the ignition switch at the display screen and turn it to the on position. Once this is done, if all the e-stops are in the operating position, you can proceed to the startup procedure on the remote control. To start it up using the remote control, you first turn and pull out the e-stop located on the right side of the remote. Next, above that, there is a button with a engine start symbol on it that you're going to press once and then press and hold for three seconds. Once you release, you'll hear an audible sound on the remote followed by an audible sound on the machine. Once this is done, you can wait for the Clem symbol to come up on the remote and you will see it go to the operating screen. If there's no codes present, then you're able to move forward with starting the engine. To do this, simply press and hold the engine start button until it starts. When it's time to turn off the machine, simply come to the main display screen and granted there's no codes or active regeneration, push and hold the red shut off button. After a few seconds delay, the machine will kick in and we'll turn off. Once the machine is shut down, you can turn off the ignition switch and then wait the two minutes or until the light turns off by the battery switch before disconnecting it. Thank you for watching. Please remember the ECA team is always available for your sales, service, parts, and support needs. If you have any questions, please contact your ECA representative.